So, this one is the, um, that is the study conducted by the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners or ACFE. Diba? So, Monye, base ilang study daw, loss due to fraud equal to 7% of the revenues. So, for, this is for a um, research, research ni nila, then approximately daw equal siya into $994 billion. And then, as to the position, uh, see, um, if tanawo ninyo, dako ang percentage of fraud sa employee, but as of the loss, is mas gamay iya ha. Ano man, as I mentioned, the employee is mas gamay ang iyang scope. Diba? Ang iyang makawat is ibutan nga to ka ng mga ginagmay lang sa kung unsa na po ang within sa iyang power or sa iyang control or sa iyang authority. Muna, as to the as to the numerical value, it is lesser. But if anita sa magkadakwang position is of course, do magagamay ang percentage of fraud, but as to the financial aspect or the numerical aspect, is mas dako siya og impact, di ba? Kaya mas dako man sila control or power. So, kana siya. Then, other results include higher losses due to men. So, meaning mas um, mas high likely daw na mo commit og fraudulent activities pag lalaki. Then, also, employees acting in collusion and employees with advanced degrees. So, yun say employees acting in collusion. So, dili ra si isa ka employee ang gasabot. So, meaning, for instance, si employee A, um, si employee A, kaya hang gasabot si employee B, na, o oh, buhat rin ako, hatagan ti kag-share, or tunga ta sa itong makuhaan eh, diba? So, mo na, mas, um, nadako ang opportunity to commit fraud, and then, mas high likely nga makakomit yun sila, or naji collusion nga mahitabo, and makakomit yun sila og fraud. Next, let's move on to the fraud schemes. So, fraud schemes can be classified in a number of ways. So, there are three categories that is identified by the ACFE. So, we have the fraudulent statements, corruption, and asset misappropriation. Now, fraudulent statements are misstating the financial statements to make the copy appear better than it is. And as I mentioned a while ago, it usually occurs as management fraud may be tied to focus on short-term financial measures for success and may also be related to management bonus packages being tied to financial statements. So, muna ang imuhang fraudulent statements. Or, for instance, lahi ang ilang i-present or like, kanang, wala nila gi faithfully represent kung sa dyan ang happen sa ilang business. For instance, they are showing that the business is gaining huge amount of income Diba? Or, dako ang sales. Ana. But, in reality, is losing the ICA. Ah. So, diba? Kana is fraudulent statements. Ana siya. Now, an example, or we have here the Enron World Cup and the underlying problems. Let's look at it one by one. So, this is an example of katong fraudulent statements by the companies Enron, Worldcom, and Adelphia. Or, giunsa man, or what happened nga nung nahitabo ang fraudulent activity. First is that there was the lack of auditor independence. Auditing firms also engaged by their clients to perform non-accounting activities, such as actuarial services, internal audit outsourcing services and consulting so meaning there is lack of independence meaning si auditor iyahara sang audit ang iyang kaugalingon nga trabaho so meaning murarag murarag imong gi murarag kag nagduwa duwa like nagbuhat kag project pero ikaw ra si nagcheck sa imong project so mura siya ingon ana so meaning the risk is that the auditors will not bring up to the management any activity or any detection or any problems that they encounter 
especially tungod kay basin sila sa ang cause and a problem. So, which is what happened to Enron. Then, next problem is the lack of director independence. So, directors who also serve on the board of other companies or have a business trading relationship, have a financial relationship as stockholders, or have received personal loans, or have an operational relationship as employees. So, this is an example wherein si person is involved siya with not just one company, but more companies, and in some instances, is competing companies pagod siya. So, meaning, si example, person A is a chairman or CEO of company 1. However, he is also a stockholder of company 2. Then, company 1 and company 2 are competitors. So, si person A is na siya power over company 1, na siya power over company 2. So, pwede niya buhaton is, for instance, if pabor siya ni company 1 or mas dakuyang shares, pwede isabotage niya si company 2 para ingon niya ang mahitabo, ingon na. So, Diba, there is already conflict of interest. So, meaning there is lack of independence between the board of directors. The next is the questionable executive compensation schemes, where in short-term stock options as compensation result in short-term strategies aimed at driving up stock prices at the expense of the firm's long-term health. So, when we say stock options, diba, these are the options you give to, or these are the stocks that you give to your managers at a lower price. Diba? So, as for as a form of compensation. Pero, di ito, ang ilahang purpose ra is para ra mo daku ang stock price sa imuhang company. So, so that more investors would be or would most likely invest seeing nga hala ni daku ang iyang stock price. So, maybe there are chances that it would still rise in the future. So, let's buy stocks now. Samtang ina ni pa ang presyo. So, ingan ana, diba? So, those are questionable na mga schemes. And then, lastly, is the inappropriate accounting practices, which is a characteristic common to many financial statement frauds. So, Enron, for example, made elaborate use of special purpose entities, and then the WorldCom transferred transmission lines costs from current expense accounts to capital accounts. So, kani nga mga fraud schemes is na na ni sa recording sa imuhang FS, Diba? Instead of recording it as an asset, for instance, imuha siyang gi, wala niyo siya gi-recognize as an asset. Pero ito na, kay liability, ano, diba? Or na kay liability, pero, um, or na kay expense, pero wala niyo siya gi-recognize as, as an expense. Kay, para dakukunit ang nawa niyong income, ano, so, it's, it's all in the mga schemes na or mga techniques sa pagtago-tago using your financial statement. So, with that, diba, tungod ana, kay na form ni ang ato ang Sarbanes Oxy Act of 2002. So, again, to, addre to address plummeting institutional and individual investor confidence or uh, confidence triggered in part by business failures and accounting restatements, the US Congress enacted the Sarbanes Oxy Act of 2002. So, its principal reform pertains to the creation of the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board. So, the PCAOB is empowered to set auditing, quality control, and ethics standards and to inspect registered accounting firms to conduct investigations and to take disciplinary actions. Next is to um emphasize the importance of auditor independence so the act addresses auditor independence by creating more separation between a firm's attestation and non-auditing activities so this is intended to specify categories of services that a public accounting firm cannot perform for its clients so nana nagipang state and then also in the sox it, um, the corporate governance and responsibility was highlighted wherein the act requires all audit committee members to be independent and requires the audit committee to hire and oversee the external auditor. So, 
audit committee is lahi pagid na siya sa imuhang board of directors. So, they are separate pagyud para there is more cross uh, check and balance na mahitabo sa company. And then, another thing is the um, the disclosure requirements were highly tightened. So, the SOX impose new corporate disclosure requirements. And then, lastly, is the um, new federal crimes for the destruction of or tampering with documents, securities fraud, and actions against whistleblowers. So, kanat siya ang imuhang Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002. Now, the another fraud scheme is the corruption. So, corruption involves an executive manager or employee of the organization in collusion with an outsider. So, there are four principal types of corruption. You have bribery, illegal gratuities, conflicts of interest, and economic extortion. When you say bribery, bribery? it involves giving, offering, soliciting, or receiving things of value to influence of or to influence an official in the performance of his or her lawful duties or sabi say apa mga paaginod mga under the table na mga transactions di ba na kay mga additional payment kay para buhaton ni niya ang imuhang ganahan buhaton so um mao na siya ang imuhang bribery the next we have illegal gratuities an illegal gratuity also involves giving, receiving, offering, or soliciting something of value because an official act that has been taken. So, it is similar to a bribe, but the transaction occurs after the fact. Ang bribery is before the act na nakagihatag. Ang illegal gratuity, gratuity gani mo siya, in, in form of gratitude, mag-ana ako nuhay, illegal gratuity is, nabuhitabo na ang act before pa kanihatag. So, ana siya. That is the difference between bribery and illegal gratuity. The next, we have the conflict of interest. So, it occurs when an employee acts on behalf of a third party during the discharge of his or her duties or has self-interest in the activity being performed. So, when the employee's conflict of interest is unknown to the employer and results in financial loss, then fraud has occurred. Then, next type is the economic extortion. So, it is the use or threat of force, including economic sanctions by an individual or organization to obtain something of Value. Now, the item of value could be a financial or economic asset, information, or cooperation to obtain a favorable decision on some matter under review. So, for example, um, a contract procurement agent for a state government threatens to blacklist a highway contractor if he doesn't make a financial payment to the agent. So, if the contractor fails to cooperate, the blacklisting will effectively eliminate him from consideration for future work. So, more siya blackmailing ba? More siya ingan anang. If you won't do this, di ba? So, mo niya akong buhaton, ipablacklist ka. Dili na ka makaduog other jobs if dili mo buhaton akong ganahan buhaton. Akong ganahan ni mong buhaton. So, that is economic extortion. Now, we also have the Foreign Corrupt Practice Act of 19... 77 which they or which indict indicative of corruption in business world and impacted accounting by requiring accurate records and internal control so kanisha is para maka prevent og corruption